Hello and welcome to this BizMates for Beginners video series for Japanese business people. And today's idiom is let someone go. Hmm, what does this idiom mean? Okay, we will find out, but first let's do our test. So, I will ask you, let's imagine we work for different companies and I say, Hey, how's your business? Is it good? And you say, yeah, it's, it's, it's expanding. That's right, it's getting bigger. Okay, I hope you got that. Okay, let's go on to today's idiom. Let someone go. What does this mean? Mm. Well, let me show you an example first. Okay, so let's imagine Taro and I, we are co-workers, we work for the same company. And I say, hey, Taro, what happened to Danny in IT? I don't see him anywhere. I haven't seen him for two weeks. Where is Danny? And Taro says, yeah, he was fired. Ooh, okay. Now, that's a very honest answer, fired. But it's a very strong word to use, especially in the office, fired. Okay, so we don't want to use that. Hmm. So a better way to say this is this. So if I say, so Tato, what happened to Danny in IT? Where is he? He can say, yeah, we had to let him go. Let him go. It means fired, but it's a lot softer. Yeah, if you say fired, many people will look, you know. So let someone go is a little bit softer. Okay, let's look at pronunciation. Okay, pronunciation is quite difficult here. So it's, we not had to, but it's, we had to, we had to. And it's not let him go, but it's let him, let him go. We had to let him go. We had to let him go. You try. Good, okay, let's try with my question, okay. So what happened to Danny in IT? Oh, really? Okay, just like that. Okay, now for homework, I will ask you next time, what happened to Danny in IT? And you say, yeah, we had to let him go. We had to let him go. Okay, so please practice this, and we'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you.